Hey guys, and welcome to the Real DDP blog. Today it is Valentine's Day, where I'm at. Of course, you're gonna be watching this on February 15th, but I actually knew what day it was. But I, I was up early and uh, and hopped on a plane and flew out here to Manhattan. And I checked into my room, and they got these beds here. <laughs> I got to show you this gimmick here. I'm, you know, I'm a big gadget freak. Anybody who knows me, and you'll see right now it says like 55. Is it 55 or 50? And this thing adjusts. When I first got on this bed, I was like, holy shit. What are they charging for this room? This thing's ex this is hard as a rock. And then I pick up this thing. I say, what the hell is this? And I start playing with it and picking it up and down. Then I realize I can take it and make it way softer. <laughs> so I make it way softer. Now I feel like I'm in jello. So I finally figured out where I want it to be. But if you ever want the adjustable bed, <laughs> that would uh, be Renaissance. That's my commercial for Renaissance for a day. So, what I want to talk about, um, Avatar. I went to see it last night, and everybody's been saying, dude, have you not seen Avatar yet? How could you not see Avatar? Either Avatar or Hurt Locker. I mean, every time I talk to Marlon, it's like, dude, did you see Hurt Locker? Barry, did you see Hurt Locker? It's like, no, I didn't see either one of them. But I did, I got that uh, Netflix. If you ain't got Netflix, you need to get it. That thing's amazing. You can actually load stuff down. Here's my ADD kicking in. You can load stuff down to your computer and watch it. You can put it through your computer into your TV so you can get it streamed right in. I've been doing that with Lost. I've been, I'm all over that show Lost now. I love it. All right, ADD boy, where am I? Okay, back to Avatar. Amazing. Oh, my God. If Cameron didn't already think he was God after Titanic and all the other huge hits he's had... After Avatar, he's at least the god of movie making. Because now, I mean, Spielberg, who was always right there with him, poof. It's like this now. I mean, Cameron is like, whoa, what did he do there? From what I heard, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to Kim. Kim said something, told me that she saw a um, documentary of the making of Avatar. And literally, when they were on green screen and with these lights all over their bodies and stuff and, you know, moving like they are the characters, but if you looked in the camera, even though they had no props at all, that you could see the the whole land of Avatar there and all the special effects that goes with it. It's crazy. I can't wait to watch that because the movie was amazing. And it, what's really funny is that my buddy Barry Levine told me that there's like a huge controversy right now between... Um, um, uh, Allison, Alice in Wonderland is coming to Johnny Depp's Alice in Wonderland, and that's a big 3D movie. Well, <laughs> Avatar's making so much money. I mean, I was there, I, was, I tried to get into a 3 o'clock show, but that was sold out. I would have the up and left-hand corner seats. I got some decent seats, but by the time we saw that movie on Saturday night, which was last night, it was slammed. There wasn't a seat left in the house. I mean, there's, and it's been going for how long? Barry told me that they've done 2.2 billion worldwide. So, hats off to you. Hats off to you, uh, Mr. Cameron. Wow, outstanding job. And um, the chick Zoe, uh, who played the love interest, in an avatar outfit, she was sexy as hell. I mean, <laughs> good flick all the way around. Ten diamond cutters on that. Bang! Go see it. I will be going to check out Hurt Locker. I'll tell you what I think of that next. Now, yesterday in the blog, I talked about if you get a chance, go down and look at the video below. And I don't think I gave you enough incentive to go down and look at it. I think that's one of the best videos I've ever done where they're actually interviewing me about Carney Wilson's baking habits. It says down below, Dallas and Angie on baking. So that doesn't really pull you in to, to watch that thing. But you need to watch it. Because I need to know, am I crazy or what? I need you to tell me... If this woman, who I love, but is totally, you think I'm all over the place at times. She makes me seem like I'm zeroed in on one subject. Uh, she wants to lose weight, but she's got this baking business where she's cooking or baking the most poisonous things to your body if you're trying to lose weight. Even if you're not, they're not that great for you, but they taste good, so we know how that works out. So, bottom line is, please leave me a comment on Carney's thing. Tell me if you think I'm crazy, where it says Dallas and Angie on baking. Leave a comment down there. I want to know what you think. If you think she's right, then let me know about it. If you think she's out of her mind, 
let me hear that too. <laughs> Whatever, right? Okay, so that's all I really got. I'm in here in New York. Uh, matter of fact, if you probably already missed it because it's already played, uh, I was on uh, WPIX this morning, and I always remember Channel 11, WPIX, and I'm a Jersey boy, and I'm in New York right now, and that's where Officer Joe Bolton was. <laughs> and anybody who's in their 40s or 50s know who Officer Joe Bolton was. Um, so uh, I'm also filming something tomorrow on WCBS, which is going to play somewhere in the next couple of days. So watch for that. And um, if you are a serious fan, if you got serious radio and you like, like wrestling, go there and uh, listen to Bust It Up because I'll be with those boys right at about 4.15 on Tuesday, so check it out. And that's all I really got to say. Um, if you are not watching this on YouTube and you want to go and become get these blogs sent to you, go to www. as in the bears, the browns. <laughs> Wait a minute, that would be the bulls, not the browns. It's the d a r e a l d d p dot com. And I want you to think about this today. The best way, this is my inspirational moment of the, uh, as I close everything out here, the best way to escape a problem is to solve it. Think about that. See ya. Bang!